Hey subscribers, how are y'all doing? So I just wanted to come on here. I am actually in the process of taking my hair down and I said, why not film it? Because a lot of my clients have so much trouble with that. So I just wanted to show you guys the easy way you can use this method to take down any any kind of lock, um, soft locks, goddess locks, butterfly locks. This method works. So I'm gonna um, show you guys. I've already got uh, one down and one is like halfway down that I have to finish taking down. But this way, this way is so easy because a lot of people think that you have to like cut at the end and then you have to um unwrap and you really don't have to do all that and if you are patient and take your time this process is easy um you you sh you should allow yourself time to do it like if you start rushing you might start paying again and then you're gonna have a big mess so make sure that you take your time and that you're patient with this process and of course i tell my clients like if you need help taking down your locks, you can always book a takedown with me. All right, so I got that one down. So we have our lock, right? First instinct people are gonna have is to cut the end of your lock. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna show you why. So when you have locks, your hair is wrapped with like an Afro textured hair or some, some type of textured hair. So what I like to do first is I just pull that hair down. So you, in essence, you're like unwrap, untwisting it a little bit. So when you untwist it, you want to find that hair that your lock is wrapped with and make sure it's only the lock hair that you're pulling out. Once you found that hair, that your lock is wrapped with, you wanna separate it because you're gonna cut that side of your lock, just like that, okay? So usually when you have locks, you have your real hair is braided underneath. So now that we've cut that part off, we're gonna pull our hair. So the braid that's underneath, you wanna pull it out just like that. You wanna make sure that you um, fully separate it from the lock. And if you need to pull the lock down some more, you can, cause you don't wanna like pull your hair out. So I'm just pulling down until my hair is exposed on one side. And I think that's it. I think that's all my hair. Okay. So you have your hair and then you have your soft lock. So, you know you have your hair pulled out. So this part is just the soft lock. And what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut that off. So this is just the soft lock. You know you have your hair pulled on the other side so you don't have to worry about, ooh, I cut my hair. No, you good, trust me. Okay, so once you've done that, you can kind of just pull down the hair that you wrapped with just keep pulling it down like this. You can use like a um, clockwise motion. And if it's easier for you, you can like, you can cut the hair. Make sure you're paying attention to what you cut in, but this is the hair that is wrapped with. You can cut that off. And then you have this hair that's just pulled through. Okay, so now we're here. We have the soft lock, which I crocheted through my hair, my hair the braid, and then we have my hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start taking my braid down. So we are taking the braid down, your hair down, and what's gonna happen is that lock is just gonna automatically slide right out. And then you're just gonna keep on taking down your own braid that's underneath. And you guys, I promise you, once you get the hang of this, it's so easy. And it's it's not going to damage your hair. Like this is the easiest way, but you do have to make sure you're paying attention so that you know you don't cut the wrong piece. So I'm just gonna keep going. 
just like how I started.